I was 19, I think I had a sales job and I had to drive uh, I had to drive down to a sales meeting to try and sell some advertising. I had a really old shitty car. No, I must, I must have been older than 19. I was about 21. I had this old shit car and I'm driving. And as I'm driving my car and I couldn't afford to have it fixed, I had a bump in the front. The front was all fucking caved in. So I had to park it away from the sales meeting and then walk to the sales meeting. So I'm driving this car. Anyway, pull up next to me at the lights, red light, pull up next to me. In a fucking Tuesday morning, 10 o'clock, music blasting. Drop top Aston Martin with a Swedish number plate. Some fucking dude about 30 with a hot blonde next to him. And I remember looking at him thinking, who, how, who the fuck's this guy? Like, here I am with my broken car on my way to fucking do a shit job. I can't afford to fix my car. This guy is from fucking Sweden and he's just driven to England and he's got a Swedish plate and he's got this hot bitch and he's got music pumping and he's on his way to have lunch. Like, where the fuck did my life go wrong? I want to be like that guy. And, and I think this every single time I live in Romania now, now I drive around Romania in my fucking Lamborghini or my Aston Martin or my Ferrari or my Bentley, whichever one I decide to drive. And they all have English number plates and I always have a girl with me and people look at me and people are giving me the exact same look I gave that guy. People look at me like, who the fuck's this in guy from England who just drove here from England? I'm standing at the bus stop about to go to work and this guy's got a quarter of a million dollar car and a hot bitch on his way to have lunch with music blaring. And the reason I managed to, to, to go full circle is those small events in my life, seeing someone else with more success than me, ingrained in my brain. And to a lot of people, it doesn't ingrain in their brain. I was walking to school. If I was walking to, to college with my friends, I used to have to walk. I went to a college on the other side of town. So I had to walk 4.6, 4 I think it was, fucking miles to college. It was a fucking nightmare. So I used to walk, walk, walk. Halfway, I'd meet some other people. Da -da -da. Towards the end, there'd be a group of five or six of us along the way. And when I met, and one day a Ferrari burnt past us, and everyone else was like, oh yeah, Ferrari. I'm like, and I remember saying to the group, I was only 18, I said, doesn't it annoy you that this guy has a, a fucking 300,000 pound car and, and will probably never have one? And they're like, oh yeah, it's only a car. I'm like, no, you don't understand. There is a life hack. There's something happening where people are living lives that other people don't get to live. There's something happening, there's something going on. I want to have a 300,000 pound car, I want it. And no one else wanted it. These little events didn't ingrain in their brain. A Ferrari driving past me bothered me, and it bothered me to my core, to the point where I decided I would do anything it takes to have one, whereas other people just saw it and carried on with their normal lives. This is the reason I have six or seven supercars and other people don't, because these small events ingrained in my brain.